there's two environments you can never smile and smiling is strength because when you have joy you have strength because you have energy and when you're not smiling and it doesn't matter if you're smiling on the outside because sometimes I don't smile on the outside sometimes it's just on the inside but when you don't have that energy of a smile whether external or internal there's two reasons and the two reasons are you're in a depressed area and the second is you're in a dangerous area and I, I want to explain that in a minute but but again just remember when you don't have a smile you don't have strength when you don't have a strength when you don't have energy you can't do what you need to do for you and for whatever purpose you're on this earth and as you take care of yourself you kind of figure out what you need to do while you're here and you enjoy yourself a little bit more because part of life is a little bit too enjoy the fruits of your labor enjoy yourself so I want to share with you there's two environments that I've noticed this and remember your environment is like where you plant something so if you if you take a plant right and you throw it right in um, in uh, in a dirty soil it's going to be harder to grow so as you become an adult you realize you want to put yourself in the right environment why well again you can grow if you have to kind of no matter where you are but you're not going to thrive you're not going to really enjoy yourself you're not going to really smile you're going to struggle to smile so let me share with you two stories i was i met this person in a town one time and about a year later I saw them in another town and when when I saw her she was very down okay. and you know I don't make much of that because we all have our ups and downs right uh, but I would see her uh, every so often at this one store in this new town and when I knew her from a year ago she was always you know very happy so as I get older I know again life beats you up and I, I know that you know things are hard but when I see someone change from like always happy to like almost consistently sad and not smiling, I said, what's the, you know, but I'm on my damn business. I know that, you know, because I don't want to get too involved because believe me, if you don't want to smile, get too involved in other people's craziness. But, you know, in casual conversation, you know, I didn't pry, but, you know, it was mainly just the move to the new town. And then I started to put two and two together because I found myself being depressed in this new town. This was when I was traveling a little bit. And I noticed it wasn't just her now. Now I noticed it was a lot of people in the same environment, in the same town. They had, it wasn't a dangerous town because I'm going to talk about that next, but it was a depressed town. Okay? The energy was low. The body language was bad. Body language is 80% of the conversation. Never forget that. Body language. And the whole energy was low, man. So I'm like, oh, shit. And I started to lose my energy, lose my joy, lose my smile. So now I have enough evidence. I have the fact that I knew that person in the other town. We were both kind of happy. I not only noticed them. I noticed other people around that I didn't know also not smiling or didn't have that positive vibe in that place. And then I noticed myself and I, I didn't have anything to do with any of these people really. And I said, oh my God, it's this town. And there were some great parts of the town and town wasn't dangerous, but the vibes, and this is what it means, you know, the vibes, the energy, it was, it was. It was just like slowly seducing you to not smile. It's like dead. And I said, wow, man, you can't change that. See, that's the other thing. As you get older, you realize you're not going to change them. They're going to change you. And I understand like the church parable. They always give like, don't be uh, the whatever don't don't be the thermometer be the thermostat like don't allow the environment to change you you change the environment yeah i right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take it some places yeah i don't care how powerful your thermostat is you know you did your life you know but i understand i believe in faith i believe in doing the right thing but also believe when a town doesn't welcome you dust your feet 
and move on. Okay, that's also in the scripture. That's right. When you don't have that welcoming vibe in a town or a community, okay, take your blessing. As I say that shit too, take your blessing, wipe your feet, and move the fuck on. Okay, I put some extra, you know, energy into that parable, but that's what Jesus was basically saying. So... When you're in a depressed area, low energy area, and you notice it's stealing other people's joy, their smile, whether external or internal, because you could tell when someone's in a good mood or bad, and it starts to affect you, everyone around you, get out of there. Don't even try to figure it out. Don't spend your life trying to be like a therapist and a community leader and all that shit, unless you like, you know, you're really called to do it and you see you're making a difference and you staying smiling. Because most times in life, guys, it's fucking merry-go-round. I hate to say that, but this is my life experience. I can lie to you. I don't want to lie to you. So then I said to myself, what's the other environment that I can't smile? Well, there is the dangerous environment. Okay, the dangerous environment is, you know, smile. a smile is weakness. Okay, and the more you smile, you know, what the fuck are you smiling at? You know, it's like you, when you're in that type of an environment, dangerous. And not just like, like street danger, but also like when you go to a house and everyone sleeps all day, okay, and they wake up after their nap at two, three o'clock and they ain't do shit all day, you can't go in there smiling. Why? Because they mad as fuck. They got shit to do. They ain't get it done. They mad at life. So you got to, those are dangerous environments, guys, because it's going to end in conflict. And I don't mean a shootout all the time. It could happen. But I just mean like, you know, it's dangerous for no reason. You know, again, as you're an adult, you don't want to put yourself in an environment if you don't have to. Why? Because what's the best part about getting old? It certainly isn't like physically getting old in certain... It's the... You get to call the shots if you do the work. If you do the work. So if I'm going to get old, okay, and then have, you know, only old chicks to pick from, even though I like some of my gifts, because I'm not dating more than five to ten year difference. I ain't getting caught up in that shit. Even though I shout to my PYTs. So... And I don't want to date anyone. I'm just making this parable. So then if I've got to get old, I want the authority of being old because I'm doing the work of my life. And part of the authority is I get to choose where I go, how I go, how I move. So I'll be damned. And I almost was damned a couple times. Took a couple, a little bit to get out of it too. When you put yourself in an environment that's depressed because that'll steal your smile. When you lose your smile, you lose your joy. When you lose your joy, you lose your strength. If you don't have strength, how do you go to gym happy? How do you go to cafe happy? How do you get creative happy? Very hard. You're going to start painting demon shit. You know what I mean? So next, dangerous. When you're in a dangerous environment, smile may cause you to get in, you know, they're going to take advantage of you because they look at that as weakness. Or a smile is a threat to them because they're mad at themselves. So you can't fuck with that type of an environment. Family, friends, towns, communities, take it all as this whole message. I hope this message helped. Click the damn thumbs up, okay? Because you can watch a lot of nothing on YouTube, okay? But I believe in the power of the internet and social media, if used correctly, and if you discipline yourself, it's not easy, because it can be hurtful. I understand that too, okay? It's very hard. But let me try to shed my light a little bit, even though I know I'm not perfect, so I'm not saying that. And, uh, but, you know, hopefully get something out of the video. I'm not, you know, again, you got to figure out your own life. That's it. Thank you for watching.